Hello, it's Mr. Omara here. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up your project in GameMaker and how to introduce a sprite. So, first up, third tab is New. As you can see, it tells me the directory or the folder that this project is going to be kept in. I'm keeping it in a folder within GameMaker called December 22. That's today's date. And it's called Project 4 because I've done some earlier projects today. So I create it and it opens up the Game Maker window. The very first thing that I need is a sprite. Now, when people are talking about games and they talk about sprites, what they often mean are actually objects. It's just when gamers are talking about it, they often use sprite in place of object, but when you're building a game, they mean different things. Think of a sprite as the clothing that an object wears. It is the look of that object. It's not the object itself. So we're going to create a sprite. So we go, there it is at the top, right click, right click, create sprite. Now I'm going to call it player underscore sprite. I'd encourage you to use this convention um, so that you can tell what your various objects are. So it's player, but it's not an object or a background, it's a sprite. So I'm going to load a sprite, so I click on that box there. Now what I'm going to do is work my way into the directory where I have a whole bunch of sprites. So just give me two seconds here to find that. I'm looking, it should be very easy to find. No, that's not it. Um, there we go, that's it. So, just working my way down to the resources and the sprites, and these will be available to you too. And I'm going down, and what I'm actually going to use is one of the sprites that um, is based on a drawing that my son drew. So there we go, there's my sprite loaded, and I press OK. So that's my sprite done. I could introduce a second sprite, in fact I'll do that for the sake of clarity. So, create a new sprite. So this is called enemy. Enemy underscore sprite. I am going to load a sprite, again it's same, back to that same folder, and I'm going to make the shark the enemy. There we go, and I open him up, and there's my shark, and I close him up. So there we go, I have a player sprite and an enemy sprite. So that's the first step that you need to take, and I'll be back in the next video to tell you about objects, which are the actual things that move around the game and are wearing the sprites as clothing. 